Hey, it's Sol, here to give some focus feedback on the 9.1 PTR. I'm going to talk about the current state of Torghast from the perspective of an alt. So this is going to sound pretty dry. Don't expect me to drop some fat ownage on Blizzard or to blow your mind with much of anything. These are just my thoughts. This is just from one person. And I've got footage to show while I talk. This is a layer 12 run with my, of course, Paladin tank. Uh, that was a fresh transfer from uh, from Live Realms. He has an item level of 220, and Layer 12, by the way, has a recommended item level of 230. So since this is a fresh transfer, you could say that this simulates me running as an alt, uh, maybe a fairly geared alt, I guess. Because this character on the PTR, it never unlocked the box of many things, you know, that whole power-up tree. I didn't choose a new soul, you know, those new soul bind traits. I don't, I don't, I don't have those. Uh, I don't have the new legendary, which is buggy anyway. I'm just doing this climb, um, oh, and I'm doing this climb during the course of Dead Souls event, uh, but I just didn't choose the power. I'm just kicking butt through the fractured chambers. Since I'm going straight to a 12, I have all five torments over there to drag me down. I'm just gonna pull the tooltips on screen and then you can see for yourself what they are. Uh, so now let's get into some feedback. Uh, coming from an angle like this, uh, Torghast doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't feel any different. Like at least my behavior hasn't changed. I already unlocked layer 12 on my main person. So from the mindset of an alt, there isn't a whole lot of motivation to do more than what I would call a routine run. You know, which is to do Torghast stuff, you know, collect the ash and the cinders and then be off. Okay, 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 okay. well, there's one thing, but I'll get to that later. This particular torment combination here, it didn't really do anything to change the way that I pulled mobs, except to be just a little bit more careful when pulling elites. Uh, I wanted to make sure that they were focused down hard before they gained that haste buff on top of the unnatural power buff, where they get tougher uh, the longer they fight. But I think these torments are just ideal for a tank spec right now, and I can pretty much ignore all these things except for the torment that makes the traps more powerful. I wasn't in the mood to find out just how hard traps hit and during this climb, sorry about that. Torments on the PTR, they rotate each day as opposed to the affixes on Mythic Plus, which rotate each week. And I hope that this isn't just a PTR thing. I actually like that, because it means that on my little army of alts, it's going to be okay if one day the affixes are less than ideal for a certain character, and then I can just come back another day while I work on Torghast with a character that is more compatible. I think it would really suck if we got a really awful rotation of Torments, and then we were stuck with that for a week. Now, of course, there's, you know, there's going to be players who only play on certain days of the week and hey, it's my World of Warcraft day. Oh, but it's being compromised by bad torments. And that sucks, right? But a bad day uh, is better than a bad week. You might know that there's only five floors in Torghast climbs now. You know, you get the two regular floors, you get the broker floor, you get one more floor after that, and then you know, the boss. This exacerbates one of the more common critiques about Torghast, that there's not enough time um, to develop a really cool loadout and get all nasty on the enemies. Now it's even shorter, which in some ways it's good, but one of the cool points of Torghast is this whole festival of violence bit. You know, you run into a room and you toast it, or you one-shot the boss, or you're running around with this big old mage army. That's going to be even harder to pull off now. And there's no death counter. Between that and the box of many things and the fact that bosses don't even regenerate health, even if you die, it's even more obvious that Torghast is built to be conquered. You cannot truly lose. The only thing uh, dying affects is your score, which only matters when you want it to matter. And it's not going to matter on an alt. We learned about score from Wowhead and preview videos like the ones that I've done, but there, I think there ought to be at least some contextual information to tell me why I need to play like a little bit more efficiently. Like after my very first climb on my main and seeing that scoreboard, it should tell me, hey, I need to get four gems to progress to the next layer and maybe inform me what I could have done. Like, oh, I should have broken more pots, saved more souls, uh, don't die. But again, this doesn't really matter on an alt. And the scoreboard at the end, 
<laughs> it really makes me sad. It obviously looks undone, but I hope that it's more, well, that it has more information. Like I said this a few times already, but I want a victory screen like in Warfront and Island Expeditions where it'll like show a list of all the anima powers that I picked on the screen too. So you know, at a glance, I can see what was it that carried me to victory. And it doesn't feel right that I have to loot the boss. It seems so anticlimactic, like show me the victory screen, shove that ash and the cinders into my inventory and then give me a bag of, of random like with gold and, and maybe the pets if a pets is supposed to drop. Okay, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting into this too much. Let me, let me explain this again. Sorry. When the boss goes down, right, there just isn't a lot of fanfare. I want the game to make it a really big deal. Like, whoa, you won. You climbed the Tower of the Damned. And, <laughs> and I know that I've I know that I've done this hundreds of times, but I don't think I would ever get tired of a game telling me that I won. I know that I would feel better if instead of just looting the boss, I was given a bag to open, so that might have some cool stuff inside. It would just be like islands and war fronts, so I can't, I don't really get why the fulfillment process wasn't just copied over. I'm only going to mention the box of many things as in it's there, uh, and it helps to make Torghast even easier, which backs up my claim that Torghast is meant to be beat like a drum pretty much. For an alt, especially an alt coming later in the patch, it's going to be quick to progress through tower knowledge with considerably less worry over hitting that seasonal cap, assuming that's going to go live. Actually, there isn't a whole lot of motivation or stress over needing an alt to power up. And again, score just doesn't matter on an alt once layer 12 is unlocked that first time. So I think the big thing, um, I wanted to talk about motivation to go into Torghast as an alt, and I guess as a main too. In the recent build, they added sets of shoulders, uh, kind of all over the place, I think. They're on the broker vendors to buy with Phantasma. I've seen them drop from bosses, and it wouldn't surprise me if I saw them drop on rares too. They're labeled as cosmetic, so it's like, cool, I, I don't have to worry about having to do a bunch of Torghast on each and every armor type. I noticed that I got like a cool pet that was pretty neat, and at the moment, the Torghast meta achievement scores me a horse. And that might take me a while to get, but here's the thing. We get pets and mounts and transmog. It's all account-wide stuff, which is great. But it also kind of limits the replayability if this is all that we're working for, right? Well, that and Ash and Cinders and whatnot. My main can do like all the heavy lifting, right? But my alt motivation, uh, you know, going back to what I was talking about earlier, is just, you know, th those Ash and Cinders. We're just doing these routine climbs. Sure, we get the Festival of Violence, woohoo, but still, these routine climbs that won't, they're just not going to feel very exciting, and that whole Chorghast rant marches on. Back in Legion days, I only did the Mage Tower on one character, so this is secondhand information, but boy, people were sure happy to do the Mage Tower over and over for those unique appearances for each individual class or spec, and that was cool. I played the living crap out of Horrific Visions, which did not have the same kind of motivation in the Mage Tower because we only got a, a, a title for winning. I did it for one, the challenge, but two, that it gave gear upgrades. I think it's too much to ask for, hey, uh, give us unique uh, class weapons or, or mounts per class, or to assign one of those bajillion mount recolors, you know, one for each class. Actually, maybe that could work, you know, having having a, a recolor for each class, even though people would just talk mad shit over 12 different horses, right? But I think one small step to make is to have a way to get a little bit of player power in Torghast. Hardly anyone has talked about or knows about mod touched gear. I mean, there's not too much to talk about, but I think I'm the only one who's really mentioned anything. We just know that it can be upgraded through some sort of currency. I think that mod touched gear should drop from Torghast, uh, like, like, like the base item level, the 190s or, or whatever, and then whatever currency is used to upgrade it should, at least in some amount, drop from there too. Like, it'd be sweet, like people can kind of know life it in here and incrementally gear up. Now, yes, there is going to be a form of time gating that only lets them upgrade so fast and to get only so much ash or cinders, but I, I, that would change my player behavior drastically. 
I've already done enough research on this patch to know that the path of upgrading mod touched gear is pretty inefficient compared to doing organized raids and dungeons and PvP, but this isn't about them, it's about giving you know, these, these non-Big 3 players, these casual players, a consistent little something to do. Months into the patch, someone can roll an alt, because this whole thing is about alts, and eventually gear their way to a decent item level. And then they can clear the meta achievement, and maybe they can get like a semi-unique mount, <laughs> like a different colored horse. I would like to see, you know, something like that to celebrate alts. The analogy that I'm most comfortable using here is the good old carrot in the stick. Carrots are being added to Torghast in 9.1, I appreciate that. But the gameplay, the stick still has so much untapped potential. It can really be as simple as allowing us to keep climbing after that boss is killed. So maybe we can climb another few floors and get anima powers, and then that's just it. It's just us and the build of anima powers that we made for ourselves and the ever increasing scale of mobs. And then we can just keep climbing, right? And when, we inf and when we finally admit defeat and don't go any further, can't go any further, we just quit and we get that little, you know, victory sheet, a stat sheet of how far we climbed and the powers that we picked up and whatever, nerd stuff, mobs that we killed, etc, etc, etc. And then we can share that on social media to lord over the rabble. Now, maybe that's a crappy idea, but it's just an example of really letting us go ham with our powers because right now it feels like those moments where... You have all your cooldowns and your bloodlust, but the boss is only at 5% at health. Maybe we'll just have to wait and see what's going on in the Twisting Corridors if that gets updated. And I really hope it does. So to summarize all this, mains have a bit of motivation to progress through Torghast as it develops in, in patch 9.1, and I think mains will have a good bit of fun. But for me at least, playing with alts delivers too far of a diminished experience. The gameplay in Torghast is it's mostly the same. Torments add a little bit of spice without it being too punitive, and right now, a lot of the discourse around it I think is a bit overblown. The allotment of rewards so far is pretty good, but without that sense of uniqueness, that's still gonna get old pretty quick. I would suggest looping Torghast into a limited form of power progression. And you know, let's throw in level 50 to 60 leveling while we're at it and even having Renown drop from bosses would be kind of cool too. So that's going to be it for my feedback, and thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next build, folks, and until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.